Hey guys, Hacksertech here for another video, tuto video tutorial. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at a fix for a reoccurring Wi-Fi issue on the OnePlus One. Uh, now I just got this OnePlus One uh, not too terribly long ago. I've had it for uh, a couple months. And so far I'd say this is probably one of my favorite phones that I've ever used. Uh, it's actually one of my first Android phones that I've actually kept for, for a little while. So... Um, this video tutorial is going to show you how to fix an issue with your Wi-Fi where uh, whenever you leave your wireless network and uh, you go back to the Wi-Fi network later on, it does not automatically reconnect to the network. Uh, and I'm actually, I found a video on YouTube that shows exactly what the issue is and what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the person who originally uploaded the video. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use that as an example, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the fix that I found for this issue. Okay, so uh, here we are. Uh, this is uh, the video that was uploaded to YouTube, and he demonstrates the issue. So he basically goes into his settings, and you can see in the top right-hand corner, uh, his network is enabled. So he has LTE, but no Wi-Fi. And now where you see where it says the Apple network is saved and secured, uh, but it doesn't say that it's connected, which means that he's not actually connected uh, to Wi-Fi that he can use. Technically, the Wi-Fi should be active, and there should be a Wi-Fi icon in the top right-hand corner, but it's not there. Okay, so you can see that he's clicking on the network, and then he clicks on Connect, and you can see that no matter how many times that he does it, uh, when you tap on the Apple network that he's showing here, and you click on Connect, it will not connect to the Wi-Fi. Now, if you enable the airplane mode, which you can see he's doing here, he enables the uh, airplane mode feature, and then it'll say no internet connection, you disable airplane mode, and then when you come out of your uh, screen here, if you look in the top right, just to the left of the battery percentage icon, uh, it's going to show the Wi-Fi icon. You can also see it says obtaining IP address, and it is in fact connecting to the network. Okay, and now you can see that it's connected in the top right hand corner, you can see that the Wi-Fi icon is visible. And uh, so now you can actually use Wi-Fi. But this is obviously really annoying that you have to do this just to be able to use your Wi-Fi network. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I was able to fix this issue. Uh, I used an app on the Google Play Store. It's a free application uh, to fix this problem. And I've been using it so far. I've been testing it to make sure that... Uh, it wasn't just a fluke, and it is a actual fix for the problem. Uh, I will show you really quick one uh, possible solution that someone mentioned on a forum. Uh, I did try it, and it didn't work for me, but um, it worked for a few people, and that's if you pull down and go to your settings. If you tap on Wi-Fi and go to the bottom right corner, tap on the three dots and click on advanced. Uh, you can see that there's an option over here that says scanning always available. And if you disable that, I have it disabled right now. Uh, for some people, uh, it should by default be checked. If you uncheck that option, some people reported that did fix the issue. But again, for me, it did not. Uh, the way that I was able to fix it is I went to the Google Play Store and I downloaded an app called Wi-Fi Fixer. Uh, now I completely just randomly guessed at this. I went onto the Google Play Store and I literally searched for Wi-Fi Fix and I scrolled through some of the different options to see if any of them would work. I tested this one and so far, every time I leave my house and come back onto my Wi-Fi network, it automatically connects without having this glitch. Uh, and I've tried a bunch of other solutions and this is the only thing so far that's worked. So this is Wi-Fi Fixer by Zanshin-G1. And I already have it installed. You can see down here some screenshots and some reviews. Uh, most of them seemed pretty good. Uh, so what the app looks like once I leave here, uh, it's gonna run in the background consistently. So if I pull down here, uh, you can look in my notifications that I have a little icon that shows uh, Mustang 9193, that's my Wi-Fi network, passed. And so it's actively running in the background. If I tap on that, it'll open the app and you can see exactly what's going on. There's really no configuration necessary here. It automatically does everything for you. So you can see the different tabs here. You can scroll through known and local and status. 
Uh, but again, you don't really have to set anything up. Uh, you can see here that it says completed, and it's basically monitoring your Wi-Fi network. And uh, supposedly, anytime there's an issue connecting to the Wi-Fi network, this app is supposed to manage and fix Wi-Fi issues. Uh, now, like I said, the app consistently runs in the background, and if you look in the top left-hand corner, the blue Wi-Fi icon, that's the app running in the background, monitoring your network to make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi successfully. Also, uh, another concern is I wanted to make sure that the app wasn't going to use too much battery power because if it uses up all my battery power just to fix this problem, then obviously it's not a full solution. But I went into my settings and I went down to the battery section to check and see the usage. And you can see what's using all the battery on my phone down to the 2%. It does not use up very much battery power at all. Uh, and it actually hasn't affected battery life for me Period. It's uh, exactly the same. So it's a full fix for this issue. Uh, it's a free application that you can download from the Google Play Store. And yeah, so that's that's the best uh, way that I've been able to fix the problem so far. Uh, now, as far as the OnePlus One goes, like I mentioned, it's a great phone. I plan on doing a full review for this phone uh, pretty soon and going over some of the features that I really enjoy about it. Uh, but as far as issues with it, the only problems I've had so far has been this Wi-Fi issue, which um, I can now say is resolved with this fix, and the GPS issue. Now, if you haven't heard about the GPS issue, it's basically an issue where um, anytime you try to uh, use an app that requires GPS, uh, in my particular case, I was using uh, an app that I have installed called Waze, and it basically allows you to uh, have turn-by-turn -turn navigation on your phone. Uh, anytime that I enable that and I try to uh, put in a destination, it'll say there's no GPS. So what I have to do is I have to reboot my phone, and once it reboots, uh, I can usually use the application without a problem. But obviously it's irritating to have to do that. Uh, it doesn't happen every time, but usually if I haven't used a GPS app in a while, uh, then I'll have to reboot my phone in order to use the turn-by-turn -turn navigation. I'm working right now on a fix for that particular issue, but I haven't found anything just yet. So anyways, for this particular video, that's it. That's a solution for the Wi-Fi issue on the OnePlus One. If you liked the video and it helped you out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, uh, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.